Good morning, everyone. God has let me live another day, and I'm about to make it everyone's problem. So, as some of you may or may not know, I have mad goblin energy. It's inside me. It courses through my veins. So when I say I just had to get this brain worm out of me and share it with you all, I am 100% unapologetic about it. So, unless you've been living under a rock for the past year or so, then you probably know what an NFT is. Or as I like to call them, monkey JPEGs. So I'd originally scrapped this video because I thought the NFT trend was dead, but there's been news that Junji Ito's putting out NFTs and AI art is now a thing, so I figured I'd go ahead and talk about it. Oh, and if you don't know what AI art is, it's pretty much an AI taking pre-existing images and mashing them together to make a new art. Now, people will tell you that's not what it is, but you can still see the watermark or a signature from the original image, and a lot of the times when you're generating these new art pieces, you have to type in a pre-existing artist or art page to even get them. Either way, here's my opinion on them. Yeah, in the trash. Now, I'm not here to debate the ethics of NFTs or convince you of anything. No, no. My idea is much stupider than that. So I was driving in my car when I got this idea. Uh, I can only compare it to shower thoughts. You know, when you're like sitting under the hot water for 30 or 40 minutes and the mysteries of the universe suddenly open themselves up to you. Boop, 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 boop. Howdy. And my brain just kind of started formulating ideas on, like, what it would take to sell me NFTs. And I'm going to tell you a lot right now, a lot of this is just, like, not even realistically possible. <laughs> like, it's an all or nothing deal. Like, either everybody has to be in this or, like, nobody can, can be in on this, okay? <laughs> And, like, the way my brain is, like, formulating all of this, it would, like, have to involve the government, which I know, like, crypto tech bros would, like, just not be into at all. Okay, and I I'm just warning you again. I'm warning you again. It's a really dumb idea. It's really stupid. But promise me he'll stick with me to the end, okay? Alright, so here we go. My big brain idea. What if NFTs were based off of gotcha games? Look, I told you it was going to be stupid, okay? Just hear me out. So, when most people hear the word gotcha, they probably think about the gambling aspect of it. But what they don't know is each of those cards and characters you pull for have their own unique and special abilities. And as you level up those characters, they gain new abilities and perks. So what if we took those in-game perks and made them real-life perks? And no, I'm not talking about whatever the fuck Cookie Run tried to do. I mean, like, physical trading cards, okay? And I know some people might point me towards MetaZoo, but I don't want to feel guilt-tripped into learning how to play a whole card game. I just want to buy pretty cards and have them have some kind of secondary benefit without feeling guilty that they're just sitting there collecting dust. So think about it, you can collect these cards and they have some kind of coupon code attached to them. So you would be able to go online, enter them into a database, and they would just apply for any website that you would go on. And then depending on the rarity of the cards, they would give you different kinds of deals like free shipping or a buy one get one. Also, I don't know if this is already a thing and I'm just like sounding like a dummy here. I, I tried looking it up and it just keeps on saying the same bullshit benefits they always do. I don't know what the board monkey yacht club is. I think there's some kind of like IRL parties that you can get into, but like, I, I don't know what the benefits of them are. But again, just to reiterate, I can't see myself supporting NFTs in any way. Not only are they bad for the environment, there's also art theft and money laundering involved in this. A lot of these people who are into NFTs have moved on to AI art, which looks like hyper-realistic Picassos with big boobs and six fingers. And it'd be fine if it was just used to make dumb edits, but people are just using them to profit off of others who don't really know any better. 
And I'm over here having an existential crisis that I wasted the last, I don't know, 10, 20 years of my life learning a skill that's now useless. But that's a whole spiel for another video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Hey guys, I know this video has been a long time in the making. Uh, I'm sorry it took me so long. Uh, I've been really busy at my job and doing convention stuff. I have another convention vlog that I'm going to put out soon, hopefully next week. And I'm thinking of putting up another short video, like just to speed paint with me talking over it. Uh, but, but we'll see, we'll see. No promises or anything. And I know this topic's a little controversial and somebody's gonna probably try and explain to me why you know, their point is right and my point is wrong, and I really don't care. I'm not your moral compass. You can choose to do whatever you want. I have no control over you. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, thank you for watching again. Um, if you want, you can like the video or subscribe to the channel. Again, I can't make you do anything, but it would just be really, really nice if you did. <laughs> or uh, you can go and... Uh, follow me on Twitter. I will leave a link down below. Again, thank you and goodbye!